Good morning, everyone. It's super early. <laughs> I got this stuff in yesterday and the day before, but um, I just didn't have time to squeeze it in. So um, it is the Spellbinders um, Club Kits for the month. Again, I'm signed up for the first, and then they ship. I've had it arrive earlier before, but this time it came in around, yeah, just a couple days ago. Um, and if I have any links in the description box, they will be affiliate links, uh, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links. They are having a special right now um, on Spellbinders if you were to buy one of the club kits, like the value club kits, or if you're, well, see about if you're signed up for it. I don't know how that works. Um, they'll give you a free stamp set. Um, uh, it should be in here, so we'll, we'll show you that in a minute. And then I also got in another box from them, and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> and it was bigger, and then I was like, what did I order? I'm like, I know there's a Christmas, but that's just now. It's the Jane Davenport stuff, and yeah, the box is big because I know I ordered two binders, so hopefully you know, everything's in there. So let's open this up. We'll go through the club kits, um, and then I'll start reviewing them very soon. Um, they do have a very cute box, but they do ship it in the box, so it gets kind of messed up a little bit. I'm trying to open this without showing all my address. Let's see here. All right. And then I did order an extra paper pad just because I thought I would like it. So this is the paper pad that is going to be in here, but I, like I said, I ordered an extra and it's called Whimsical Forest. Never fails to show my address. I picked up that thing. <laughs> okay. I don't remember where I was at, but uh, I did order an extra uh, paper pad. It's called Whimsical Forest. So this is the paper pad that is in the uh, uh, card kit, okay? Um, I thought I would like that, so that's what I did. This is the extra sp uh, stamp set that goes with the large stamp of the, m or large die of the month, but um, again, if you order a value club kit, whatever it is, um, I guess that includes the large die, which they normally do. Um, if you're in the value kit kits, you get this for free, and it's basically gonna help you do some cute little stamping on your little cake, and it has some extra words and stuff that you can use. So, just says thanks for being a VIP Value Club member. Enjoy your free stamp. And they do say every once in a while they send free things. I think I've gotten free things from them, like, every other box, maybe? Maybe every other two. I don't know. I, I feel like I've been getting free things <laughs> pretty often. Okay. Like a little perk, you know? Um, this is the small die of the month. And this one's very cute, very simple. Um, it reminds you of the letters that they did not too long ago. Very much that style. But we have... Um, the letters that will spell out hello and then thank you. So we have thank you. Where's... Okay. Oh. Duh. So thank and then the U is going to be from the letters that also help you spell hello. I guess if anything else that you can spell that has H-E-O-U-Y or L in it, <laughs> then you can do that too. And then it has a little border, but we'll go over that a little more um, closely when I review them. I do like that though. That's pretty cool. Fun. Interesting. Okay. And then this is the large die of the month that makes like a little slice of cake that you can put all these different drop-ins. I didn't realize there were so many because a lot of times it's hard to see what they're what they're doing. Um, the, so you can have your cake and eat it too um, is what they did on this one. That's really cute. That's fun. And then the little fruits and things. That's so cute. Obviously, it's going to take a few steps, but we'll do that. And this is the card kit that slid open a little bit. I did skip the APG for this month. It was a set that wasn't, again, the pictures are hard to imagine what they're doing. And it was kind of cool, actually. It's like a, a big square, and it's kind of uh, a big square kind of die, but it's like cut up into quarters. And then you can switch things around, and so you can play with it to make all kinds of different shapes on your card or cut-ins or cut-out or whatever. But I didn't really quite understand it when I was looking at it, so I... I went ahead and passed up on that but normally my um this is the works no this is kit and caboodle and i normally get the works is that right yeah this is kit and caboodle <laughs> all right uh card kit real quick we'll go through it because i would always go through it later so september 2020 again you always have your your tape and your um 3d adhesives we have tons of die cuts that are always really cute. And there's always two of each. So as you can see, there's two of the little guy. And there's tons in here. Um, this is another one. Hmm. It doesn't say anything on it, but it looks like obviously more die cuts. Very interesting. Um, oh, this is adorable. So, okay, so we have, actually, let me find the stamp set. So you have this little stamp set that is so cute. Oh my gosh, there's no one like you, hedge hugs and kisses. Uh, that'll go with your um, hedge hug set from 
next time I'm impressed if you have that. Um, it has this cute little frame that's very playful. It reminds me kind of like Snow Whitish Seven Dwarfs. You know what I'm saying? Like just a cute little design. And then look the little <laughs> that's a little hedgehog in his pieces. And then it has dies to cut the the gnomes and all kinds of other things in here. Um, no little grass. You can build like a little scene. This is cute. Okay, so obviously we're gonna get to that soon. Uh, card bases are. Yeah, card bases and envelopes. Um, little blue sequins, it's like a mix. Um, 3D stickers that are absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. Showered with love, this one says, and it has like the little rain. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Miranda loves uh, Monsters University when the slug, he's like, gonna be late or whatever. He's I'm coming and he's supposedly he's running, but he's barely moving. He's like, <laughs> like <laughs> he's all breathing hard, but not moving. Okay. So this is the paper pad. Again, I don't know if you can see the little gnomes in there. Super cute. And then the stickers, like those the kind of puffy stickers. All right. So I will get to reviewing these items within the next few days. Oh, let's guard that address. I was hoping I would do this video in one shot so the editing would be less, but nope. Okay, this box is really big, so let me... And this stuff I ordered, when was it, last week? I don't remember if I ordered the first day that I knew the sale started. Is the Jane Davenport stuff they had on sale or not? And you know what? It's because they have, she has a whole new lineup of things coming out. And, um, you know, Elizabeth Craft Design also came out with some really new, really new, really pretty <laughs> new um, die sets that make like little flowers and stuff like that if you're into those kind of things. And then uh, HSN just began their return policy that you have until January 31st to return stuff, but they began it today, okay? <laughs> so I don't think it began yesterday, which is kind of weird. So I'm like, maybe maybe what I saw says January 13th, uh, yeah, January, um, September 13th, because today is September 13th? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, it starts on September 13th. So today's the 12th, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's going to start. Um, so just keep that in mind if you have something that you buy after tomorrow I suppose. It's kind of weird. They usually do that in October, but I guess they're starting a couple weeks early for some reason. Um, I'm just going to pull this whole thing up here because I did get quite a bit. Okay. You know, I have to complete my collection. I love her stuff. But I've never really had her squidding, so I did want to try at least one, so I got it in black. It is a hybrid ink pad, it says, and that's bigger than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was going to be tiny. Well, that plan was blown up because my husband came down the stairs and started getting ready to go on a bike ride. Okay. And then the fountain pens. I love her fountain pens. I have the Learn with the Mermaid scales, and like I said, I don't use it every day all the time. I have it in my journal, um, and the Take Note journal that I got from Spellbinders. It is still a great price, super cheap. Um... And I love it. It always works, like, reliably, which is not typical of fountain pens. You know, if you leave it drying or just sitting for a few days, it'll kind of dry up a little bit. So, really great. You guys don't even know how, like, uh, what's the word? Frustrated I am. I hate that. He just walked back in. <laughs> I have a bell on my outside door, so whenever I open it, or anybody opens it, it just makes a little sound, right? I'm like, well, you said you were leaving. Just do your video. Um, no, because then there's background noises of, like, just people milling around or whatever he's doing. I'm good. Anyway, these are really great, so um, I picked those up. And... Oh. Okay, again with that with the address, hopefully. No. I, I, you know, I forget that they put the invoice, tuck it in there. I don't even know why they put that in. Well, I always like having a packing list, but... Um, I guess that's why they put it in there. Okay. These stamps. I've been eyeing them. Um, they were always kind of full price, so I went ahead and picked them up when they were, whatever, four fifty, I guess, um, with um, the club discount, the extra 10% off. So this is a really pretty set. It does not have a name. JD089. And then this little lady. I try to pick up all the lady ones. I do like this. It looks like a pansy it reminds me of, so I don't know if that's the case or not. Not pansy. Black-Eyed Susan. Is that what it's called? The one with the dark ones, the orangey? Or is that a poppy? <laughs> I'm thinking I walk into different flowers now. Poppy. Hello, poppy girl. There you go. Is there black-eyed, brown-eyed Susan? What is that flower called? I don't remember. Build a bouquet. Um, these are just kind of like background pretty flowers that I had not had yet. 
And then this one kind of goes along with the other sets. I do have the other sets of the little girls with like an animal. So uh, this is Fairy Tale Fox. And I like him because he looks very real, but kind of mischievous. And then she looks very delicate, very cute set. And this one I had never really paid attention to, but the lady is very fancy. <laughs> like, what is she wearing? These like tight pants? I don't know. Anyway, Giraffe Wisdom. And the giraffe looks like a little baby. So sweet. And then this one's just odd. I'm like, yeah, I have to get that. Best leopard. And it's a big old leopard holding a, the girl down here. But it's just very fairy tale, very playful. I don't know. And then this one. Oh, my. I didn't know this was so big. I'd always seen this one, and I thought it was kind of expensive. And I'm like, Do, am I really going to use it? You know, I, I don't know. But I love all her stuff. And since I have pretty much all of them. Did I not get the octopus? Yeah, I guess I didn't. I was going to get the octopus ones. Um... I didn't realize this was so big. Look at this. Huge. So if you see this on there, just know. And she does have an outer, which is was also hard for me to tell. I'm like, I can't tell what's going on. So she does have a blackout, so that's good. Because I thought it was just this. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? But this is better. Much better design than I thought. <laughs> Little glasses. Everything else that goes along with it. And then you can do something like this if you would like. But... Oh, and it has little flowers. <laughs> little collar. That is so funny. You can dress her up with a little collar. Cute. That one's called uh, Marsha's Makeover. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I did pick this up just because I like the colors in here. It says Matchmaker Set and supposedly, well, it's matte finish acrylic paint, but I think it's for um, basically for making like faces. So it comes with a base color, I suppose, and then it has some, some kind of pearlescent lighter color and then it has like a deeper color. You can mix colors. That's really fun. Start with the base color, add drops from the dark and light tones, customize your own skin colors. Huh. Interesting, that was very pretty. And then there's refills for those inks. Now, uh, for the pens, it's hard for me to tell because I have tons of ink refills, but again, some pens are particular, like you have to have this certain size and it has to be the, so I grabbed these, but um, I, I don't know, I'll have to test that out. And I did pick up her other two, um, watercolor sets just because I love watercolors anyway and look how pretty this one is the, the gold and these are uh, the different ones I have glitzy that I used not too long ago and then these are I think neutral yeah and bright so they're probably the same colors that well not really I already tested some of the colors in that last the glitzy and they're just really pretty colors so very similar to uh, my Arteza set that I recently picked uh, not picked up that they sent for review um but not really. <laughs> so, so, uh, just really pretty. I like the way they work. So, um, all right, guys, I think that's it. So, yeah, so, it, oh, hello, the big binders. So, I already have two of these. That's why so I picked up two more, and I probably should have picked up three or four more, to be honest, because they hold so much. I have a whole review on them. I'll leave that in the description box if you haven't watched it yet. Um, one of them is holding all my Dilution stuff. The other one has all of my Jane Davenport stuff. I'm probably going to do another one that holds like all of my little Annabelle Spensley stamps or whatever because I'm kind of getting quite a collection of those. Like those kind of things, like smaller stamps that I really want to keep together. It also has big pockets for like stencils, all kinds of fun things, whatever you want to put in here. So I probably should have grabbed more, but that's okay. I'll have these four. Uh, I mean, these two. Oh, and then yesterday on craft day, I did pick up the... Um, What's the thing called? The origami cart that they had. I just picked it up to like the end of the day. So maybe hopefully I'll do a review when that comes in. Apparently it's not a thing new. They've had it on HSN. It was just their today special. So they gave it a different price. But um, I have an area over here that I'm always looking at that's two short things that I just have a bunch of stuff on. Even my embroidery machine, my Disney embroidery machine. I'm looking right at it right now. A little sewing machine that my Kia one. Plus a bunch of stuff. And then like stamps that are in binders like this or bigger binders that are like... Um, Stamps of Life, because uh, they used to always come with like a binder refill, and then um, all of my, not Unity stamps, but uh, La La Land craft stamps and things like that, and they're all in binders, and the binders are laying like this, and I want them upright like this, so I'm hoping that they'll be tall enough to hold the binders up that way. So I'm going to eliminate those two shorter kind of tub, not tubs, they're, I don't know how to explain it. I guess they're two shorter racks, and then do that one taller one, we'll see what happens, I don't know. It may not be wide enough is what I want, but it'll, it'll work. It'll do something. So I'm going to do that in that corner that I'm looking at right now <laughs> to organize a little better there. Um, all right, guys. I hope you're having a great day, a great weekend. If you're interested in signing up for any of the clubs, and then like I said right now, if you do a value club, you get that free stamp set. I'll have the links in the description box. And I will see you guys at the next one. Actually, I'll see you very soon because I'm going to hit the ground running with some other reviews for Spellbinder stuff, which begins with um, 
the card kits, the older ones that are still on sale right now through their Christmas sale. And I told you guys I would start those, so I'm going to pop those open right now. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.